new breed is here. Faster, more ferocious, and infinitely more deadly. Piranha 2. Good evening, or morning. Welcome to the Cinema Schlock Society Halloween edition. I am John. Greg. Larissa. April. Chris. James. Scott. Mina. Cold Snake. I'm Corey. Sorry. <laughs> Callie. Michelle. Matt. And welcome to the Alp Alpacalypse. <laughs> War, famine, death, and pestilence. And as many people know in the Alpacalypse, it comes in stages. Today's stage is Piranha 2, The Spawning. Now, we chose this one because even the best of us have bad days, including really, really good directors. Well, what's interesting about this one is that one of the best directors of our age, his first movie that has his name on it was a really bad day. <laughs> and with that, it is Piranha 2, The Spawning. I have absolutely no memory of this movie, I, apart from the fact that I was saying, oh, Cameron directed this. I'm like, Cameron directed this? <laughs> It's his third one. Right, that's a can of worms right there. I have a feeling you're going to have something involving blue nine foot people in there. I don't know what you're referring to. I've, I, never, I've only seen three of his movies, you know. This is <laughs> <laughs> so it's his third worst. Okay. No, this is probably more watchable than Avatar. Uh, I've never seen it, but I can only imagine it's at least an hour shorter and has a more coherent plot. So, hey, take notes. How more, oh, this is a great movie. <laughs> how more coherent do you need? It's Dances with Wolves in Space. Or Last Samurai. Or Last Samurai. In what space. you're, in what space. you're saying is we need a Piranha 2 land in Animal Kingdom. Yes. yes. Yeah. No, no, I no. no, no. Live Piranha uh, yeah, we'll, we'll just throw this one in Sea World. They need that help. That's <laughs> true. No. no, they need shade. That's what they need. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There's. In, in my efforts to try to find anything interesting to say about this movie, there's actually the one thing. Neff, you, were, you pointed this out to now, me. Now, essentially, Piranha 2, the spawning, is the reason we have Terminator. And that's because James Cameron, while setting up a, a special effects shot involving uh, maggots through a small electrical wire, called for action when a producer was on set. And the producer didn't realize that they had an effect going, so when he called action... They turned on the wire, which excited the maggots. So even the maggots listened to James Cameron's authoritative <laughs> Canadian bark. And that's how we got Terminator. Okay. Well, he, so Cameron can make maggots listen to him. I guess that would definitely explain Michael Biehn. <laughs> oh. Well, you're, you're also oh, talking about... Michael Biehn. Post, I know you're watching. Because what else are you doing? <laughs> Michael Biehn. It's, apart from pop, apart from like shirking your fans. Oh, <laughs> is there a story there? Jeff? Oh, there's a story, oh, but yeah, it's called alcohol. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> there's a story, but you know we'll save that for when we watch the. Well, rock. if they're making a Blood Dragon three, then okay. Well, when we do that. a Blood, or, yeah. <laughs> Anything. <laughs> See, I think it's interesting. Stay tuned. <laughs> this this Stay definitely tuned. sets up uh, Cameron's obsession with the water. If you think about it, I mean, like, even his first movie involved the water. Every other movie, well, I mean, his once he got off the ground and started doing, like, The Abyss and Titanic, and even Avatar, in a weird way, has this aquatic quality to it. So even his first bad movie has something to do with the water. <laughs> Though it's another interesting fact. Cameron actually, for all intents and purposes, didn't actually direct this movie. He only worked on it for a week. Yeah, wasn't this? Is, he was like a special effects. He's a special effects guy, but apparently he was like slated to direct this. Directed the first week, and I think apparently. Yeah, he got fired. Yeah, he got canned. <laughs> How did he get fired on Piranha Two? <laughs> by wow. doing better than. Yeah, by know, doing better than the movie actually. Point. That's, that's, that's what that's what ended, ended right after yeah. just a week of directing. They're like, I think we got that's, everything we, we need. We got it. Put it in the can. It's, yes. it's like it's like saying you're getting fired off a of Sharknado because you want all the sharks to be like a reference to like Trump's America. Oh, yeah. <laughs> So it's really an allegory. It's a, yes. An amount of oh no, the whole Sharknado thing is a, is an allegory for you know America as it will be. Okay. <laughs> a swirling mess of teeth and inco inconsistency. And Tara Strong. <laughs> and Tara Strong. <laughs> and Tara Strong tried to find booze. She's so Tara Strong than in real life. Um, <laughs> wait a minute. Wait a minute. I know Tara Strong. Tara no, no, Tara Reid. No, Tara Strong. I was getting really confused. Oh, okay. like, she's in it. <laughs> 
no. Tara, Tara Strong is slightly she's nicer. Awesome. No, yeah, Tara to, Strong, to be fair, Tara Strong is everywhere as well. That's true. So. She's the boy, you and, know, and, any female character in an animated show, that's Tara Strong. And, and yeah. frankly, way more enjoyable than, you know, See, there's the problem is I blocked out Tara So, Reed. we know you're also watching <laughs> Tara Strong, so we apologize. Yeah. Sorry about that. Well, Kelly apologizes more than anyone else. We have very I said Tara Strong, but that's only because, you know, I wasn't listening, that's actually, right. to what Kelly says. Got <laughs> Nobody does. <laughs> there is something good to be said for Piranha 2, and that is the fact that they were so fancy, they used two eyes to designate. Yes. That's yeah. They use Roman numerals. That's, yeah, that's, yeah. How you know, that's how you know a sequel is really posh, when they use Roman numerals. And that is, it, it, that is the one good thing I can when say you're, When you're doing a search for this movie on iTunes, you don't put just two. You put I, I. It works for It works for uppercase. Both. Both. It thought of that. Yes. It actually thought of that eventuality that, you know, people are too lazy to switch to cast, so we'll just say lowercase i, lowercase i. Okay. Now, the other good thing about this movie is it's a good example of, for those of you who are up-and-coming filmmakers, your first movie can be complete crap, and it can be, you know, something terrible, and eventually, as long as you make something with enough mo people make enough money off of it, it doesn't matter, you know? So that's a good, that's a good sign. You can be doing so, what you're saying is, make a terrible movie in the beginning. Yes. Make back to back the highest grossing films of all time. Well, that's that's pretty simple. I mean, yeah, that's just, exactly. So, so we're just time. Time. I gotta go. Step so one. Bye. <laughs> step three. Question mark. Step yeah. four. Profit. Step exactly. three. Profit. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> There's obviously not a lot to say about this movie. Yet. Not a lot. <laughs> There's no, 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 yeah, in, the, in the midst of all this, we're insulting celeb. We're insulting actual celebrities and people who would have been celebrities. Now the question is, has James Cameron ever actually seen this movie? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Some of us have. Most of us haven't. I would say. No. no yeah. Actually, yeah. That's the next question. I mean, how many have actually seen this movie? I have. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Now, now this is a nice change compared to our previous episodes yeah. where it was like lopsidedly everyone had seen this, but yeah. now, now all of us. Now who's who's seen Piranha One? Is there anything I need to know about Piranha it One don't in order know to? Much, but is there a plot? Is there like Joe Dante no. directed it? That's all you need to know. Oh okay. yeah, it's good. <laughs> that's yeah. all you so, need to know. He's the son of the Piranhas family, and he's coming back for vengeance. Yeah, so exactly. we've gone from Joe Dante to James Cameron. That's an interesting. <laughs> and like, whoever took yeah. over the job for him after right. the, afterwards. Alan, Alan, Alan Smithy. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> We're about two seconds away from making that same joke. <laughs> they realized, why do we need a director for this? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm not surprised it's not like Lucio Fulci or some Italian director <laughs> that like it, it, like well, it's not even a Piranha see, Two technically. They just made a movie and named it Piranha you know, Two. I wish, you yeah, know? yeah, see, I wish you were Fulci. Hell, I wish you were Argento. That's yes, just, oh. that, that it would look beautiful. <laughs> it would yeah. have great it would look gorgeous. Gorgeous. but it would look nice. Yeah. It's really I mean, it's more of a Bruno Mattai movie. Oh, uh, <laughs> that's a whole other can of worms. Oh. <laughs> I think you just broke John. Oh, oh God! We didn't no. even start the movie yet. <laughs> I don't I don't know if I'm gonna make it through this, but you know what? We're gonna have to wait and see. Uh, I think we prolong this out long enough. Oh, so, yeah. Yeah. see you on the other side Bye. for Piranha Two. See you in this hell. morning. <laughs> All right, Matt, go turn it off. <laughs> I'm not getting out. Do the job, monkey! It's here. It's alive. And it's multiplying. We spliced in genes from different species to create the ultimate killer organism. Oh. <laughs> How many Jewish dentists died making this movie? No, 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 yeah. They define. Come on, John. Junior producers horror. don't die in the film. Okay. All right. This movie just created a brand new horror trope. Don't fuck in derelict, unsunken ships. It ends badly. Yes. It ends very, very badly and a lot bloodier than. Well, never mind. I'm not going to go there. It's a good idea. Oh. It's a good idea. Some trope. Some trope. And Flo was visiting that ship. It's a whole new meaning to Shark Week. Oh. Oh. Hey, he's, he set it up. He set it up. I had to. I did. I did. But you see, now it's less offensive because a woman said it. Not so pretty bad. Equality. Equality. <laughs> so I, I can't, having just watched that movie, believe that anyone would give James Cameron money to make another movie <laughs> after that movie. I'm not going to blame the whole thing on James Cameron. It's, except I'm for Jim Henson. Well, it's it it it, it definitely did 
start the uh, the love. And basically, Lance Hendrickson being James Cameron, like the he's the Robert De Niro to James Cameron's uh, Scorsese. <laughs> so that starts that that definitely started the uh, the love affair. But other than that, yeah. well, I think wow. every I, and you know anyone who says I have a love for Lance Hendrickson is totally fine. I mean, because even in this, it's it's embarrassing. But he actually was giving like the most. <laughs> Conviction to his performance amongst everybody, and, and the whole thing—it was like Ray Liotta in the identical. It was like, how? Why are you? Why are you spending this much energy being so good well, he, in this? He was the Michael Caine of this movie. If yes. Michael Caine in, in Jaws: The Revenge. Yes. So. Yeah, but he didn't make enough money to buy a house, I'm sure. No, no, no. Yeah. Or a pool. no he probably pool. probably yeah. enough to buy another pair of shoes. That's true. But. His son didn't need shoes that badly. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, Callback. But it's Call back. We put they put a lot of Italians to work. Yes. <laughs> yes. The yeah, entire yeah, yeah. based on the credits, the entire crew was all Italian. All Italian. It was like watching a Lucio Fulci movie, but with actual. I've never seen. English. I've never seen this much usage from the letter Z <laughs> since you know pretty much anyone watching an Anthony Minghella film, and if there were word balloons over. And lots of eyes at the end yeah. of every game. Yes, just and looking oh. at the freeze frame of the. Oh, they're now. Oh, oh, there were certainly the a lot of O's. There were a lot yeah. of O's. <laughs> O's, I's, and Z's. I mean, as far as an Italian alphabet. Oh, I'm talking too. before the credits. There were uh, a lot of O's. Yeah. Oh. Oh. I definitely want to give it a hand. Oh. To oh. the, uh, the fish. I think the fish. I think that's I will say the yeah. forms. Yeah, the, the the fish were quite special. The fish I mean. acquitted themselves very well. I guess. Yeah. <laughs> that they were hummingbird fish. I mean, yeah. it, it, honestly, that, that should have been a nature documentary in itself. <laughs> well, the fish that hid inside the guy's chest cavity. <laughs> Because at one point somebody yes. dies, somebody gets eaten, and then they bring him to the morgue, and then these two other dumbass characters decide they're going to check out the body because this was no boating accident, essentially. Yeah. And so they they go in, they think it's fine, and then this poor innocent nurse gets uh, you know the fish was hiding inside the guy's corpse and jumps out. Probably the only because clever moment sense. in the whole movie. But yeah, it that's pretty dumb. funny. <laughs> that and and funny. even then, in order for it to be clever, you just basically had to forego a lot of logic. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> for this, because you got to think about how many hours between when it was in the water, to now, when at this moment, that, that fish would have inevitably... And, and they must have had the late... It's okay. Oh. Yeah. Well, they, they, apparently the Caribbean has the laziest, like, morticians ever. <laughs> <laughs> they looked at the body like, ah, he's dead, fuck it, well, he's fine. Well, what are we saying also about just everyone's lazy? You want a police car, just take a magic marker and write police in <laughs> yeah. the Yeah, hey, ambulance. ambulance. I, was, I, I was waiting to see, like, something like that misspelled on the side of the, of the, of the damn... The ambulance. That would have been like classic bad movie trope 101 right there. Well, so. considering most of the crew probably only spoke Italian. It's a good point. The yeah. fact that they even spelled it was the English word yeah. for ambulance was a fucking <laughs> miracle. Or even, I mean, and even then, it, it definitely would account. I mean, the direct, the actual director, the one who took over after Cameron said, "I'm out" <laughs> after after a week. After after he went up to Lance Henderson afterwards and says, "Listen, we're gonna make good stuff one day. All right, just <laughs> hang in here." And apparently, Lance Henderson, uh, not Lance, I, we've been talking about Lance too much. Uh, you can never talk about Lance too much. But Cameron apparently snuck into the editing room to try and yes. get his cut yep. made. Yep. And got kicked thing. out. And got kicked out. So a video asinitis. Yeah. <laughs> that, I'm not kidding. That is the guy's name. The man who took over direction. His name is an ass disease. <laughs> <laughs> now the question is: Is this the is this the movie that he was the Cameron was working on when he had the nightmare that would eventually become it the happened plot for Terminator? At the end, like when he was doing, he was supposed to attend some sort of premiere, and he had some sort of he got sick. Yeah. And he had the the, the nightmare the which gave him the, about the robot walking through fire. Yeah. Oh so, yeah. Well, no, it said that he got yeah he got, yeah he got sick and he had this weird dream about a, uh, like a cybernetic torso like climbing out of fire. Well, considering how much. This movie took place on or underwater. He probably had pneumonia at some point, so that must be what yeah. it was. After a week, that's impressive. So I we can... thought it was the fish food. It's, it's, oh, that yeah. too. It's how hard oh, Cameron hard works on stuff. Yeah. yeah, yeah, camera admittedly works like way too hard. I mean, apparently, like those crazy take after take, he like never stops. He's well, you could have fooled Cameron, me from that. Cameron movie. has changed like over the years. Um, through the beginning of his career, he was known as that tyrant that basically would yell at anybody to get what he needed to get. Nowadays, like people who worked with him on Avatar were like, no, nah, it was actually pretty 
pretty easy going. Did so. he just stop caring after a second? <laughs> I, mean, I guess he just said, okay, 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 no matter what I do, he's now, he's now, now he's yelling right. at some poor computer animation guy. Okay, all right, you know what? I, I'm going to go to bat for Avatar, but if I'm, I don't have the strength to do it now. I'm probably going to have to come <laughs> up with, I'm going to have to do our, our new series, In Defense of, later on, on Arcata Cast Roll. Stay tuned. Uh, that's, that's, I can't that's defend Avatar. Yeah, yeah. I, I will defend. I'll back you up on Avatar, John. Yeah, all right. Hey, it's, it's beautiful. <laughs> when you see it in IMAX, it's breathtaking. Yeah. It is. Like, it is one of those things where it, it sort of like overshadows any of the shortcomings of the movie. When you watch it like on a, on a television screen like what we're watching now or something even smaller, yeah, you're going to see every single imperfection. You see it floor to ceiling IMAX, you are just like, I don't care. This is amazing. Well, yeah. I don't yes. think anybody's ever doubt. I mean... I watched this in IMAX. I watched this in IMAX. This I've you. seen. Mm-hmm. I can say, "Oh my God, this is this is beautiful." It's just mm-hmm. then you people actually open their mouths and start talking, and that's when I start to have problems. Well, for me, you, have, wait, well, you have problems with Sigourney Weaver talking. For me, it was seven foot tall. Uh, <laughs> no, I mean to her. The, uh, yeah. 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 Hey, that was the only good thing about that fucking movie when the Nothing. when the giant robot pulls out a giant Bowie knife. That was the only good thing. But the fact that we're talking about Avatar should tell you something about Piranha. Piranha. <laughs> thank you, thank you for bringing it back. Yeah. So where the focus? Something came. that was known for its being three D was so two dimensional. Yeah. Also, there were like three set it three locations. Really, like there was the a lot of this movie took place in an underwater fucking derelict boat. Yes, the front of a resort. I'm gonna say this and a room in the resort. In defense, in defense that if Star Wars were in 3D, you'd be pretty much being saying the same thing about that. That's a good point. What kind of a crappy oh. resort, though, tells the guests, hey, we're going to have a fish fry, but you all are going to have to go out into the Wait, fish. the fish. Wait, the fish. Run the fish. I want that run to actually... Away. I run away. <laughs> I want that to actually be a thing in a Caribbean resort <laughs> where people will be in the water <laughs> throwing <laughs> fish at you. Wait, wait, so this, was, this is literally, for a fish fry, the Hunger Games? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Well, and that was, that was the only interesting part of the movie was when the piranhas, fish. When the piranhas finally like show up and start eating all the tourists during this fish fry, and all the tourists run into the hotel and the piranhas can fucking fly at this point and so but then they're all stuck in the hotel and it cuts away to the next scene and the main woman is now walking down the street in some completely other scene and I'm like yeah. wait a minute what the fuck happened to all the tourists stuck in the hotel wait, 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 we didn't, we we didn't, we didn't even touch on the, the day night cycle in this movie <laughs> well this movie takes place right. over the course of like three weeks apparently <laughs> according this to the kids been like, going yeah, like two days oh my god well and the subplot with the two kids that just want to fuck on an island you know? <laughs> So it was like some films can definitely get away with tricking you, like, oh, it's night now. But this one's like, okay, it's the night, we're flying around. Yeah. Oh, it's the morning, the kids are fucking. <laughs> Wait, he's still in the helicopter. It's night. Yeah, Lance like, Hendrickson's been flying around for four days without refueling. <laughs> oh, no, no. And, and very oh, yeah. flippantly and absolutely carelessly, just to save the kids, jumped out of the helicopter. <laughs> That's about a couple hundred thousand. Dollars the worth. Greatest the greatest RC remote control helicopter crash. Wait, 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 he takes the time to wrap the the like the cord of the radio, the radio around. So the thinking that's actually going to do something. Yeah. Wait, 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 wait. You talk about that. You don't even mention the fact that it explodes and then it hits the water. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, no. Helicopter fuel and water are a very volatile combination. <laughs> In the A team, maybe. <laughs> well, that's, it's about as realistic as the boat exploding in, jo- in Jaws of Revenge when it crashes into the sh- into the shark at the end. People so. need to stop building these vehicles with explosives in the engine. Well, in the all, the these, all vehicles would explode with very little, uh, you know. I think I saw effort. a short on YouTube where some guy actually around, like, opened up the car yeah. by the handle and it blew up or something like that. Oh no, no, no. Just the best, the you guys. Best, no, the best one was uh, just top, just top just secret. Yeah, the best one was top secret when all when like a bunch of thugs are about to ram right into a pinto yeah. they they Damn. stop like right they love tap it. and then just love tap it and then boom but that was the ford pinto eh? yeah well that was that, that was wasn't the pinto. a special effect that was actually <laughs> <laughs> am i the only one that was a little sad that the thurston howl guy didn't get killed like i thought that he the dude with the like the 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 Rich dad. Oh, yeah. 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 Mr. Monopoly. Yeah, Mr. Monopoly, yeah. like Mr. Because Three Hours. I, I love this wardrobe. I have found my new aesthetic. Well, he was totally doing that voice. Yeah, <laughs> he was. Yeah, yeah, the voice and everything. Uh, off and on. Yeah, that's I'll, part. Honestly, the thing that would make would have made the move for me is if Miss Hannigan and the and the Jewish dentist were the big heroes of the piece. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. that yeah. honestly would have made an amazing yeah. movie the right third, there. Third act surprise turn. They come out with machine guns. Yeah. 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 Oh yeah. And they yeah. saved the day. I see. Here's another thing that That's drives me crazy, movie. and this isn't just this movie. This is like pretty much most like Nature Strikes Back tropes, where the the resolution always seems to be like we killed them all, and in this case, 
Okay, all the fish like flock into just this ship alone. It's the it's the ocean. I'm sure there's what about other the ones that were still yeah. around the resort. Yeah, yeah, they yeah. Fly, and also and they clearly don't need water. Really yeah, they they never showed them. The and that's trapped. They never showed the fish going back into the water. I mean, yeah. and, and, and okay. there is going to be many notes. Very many. <laughs> Shut up. Logic. Stop with the logic. logic. <laughs> no, that's the entire point of what we're doing here. <laughs> but this is not just this movie. It's like every single movie like it that you'll see on Siffy. I, I will. Believe, I will. I will pay any amount of money to what say about that the there was the a. Swimming pool? Don't worry. There was an entire chunk of the movie that either got cut out or they ran out of budget that took place after the, the fish all flew to the hotel and when the scene where the lady's just now in a completely other scene. There must have been some like twenty minute sequence of the of the Whoa. ship of the fish like flying there, in the hotel. There, there has to be because she was casually. Walking. Right, she, she was like, "Well, that uh, she was the rest of those people." <laughs> and her bag was full of dynamite. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. yeah, on a timer that was already set. And very cunning of her to use the other guy as like the thing to plug up the hole, the, the yeah. bed to keep the fish. The, but the remember, fish yeah. she's got very a husband. husband. Uh, she's she's got a weirdo. No. <laughs> well, you know, I would leave anyone. It's not much of a marriage. Season, so. As, as she, she she said, with the, the guy who was a part of the project of making these deaf fish. And the fact that he slept with his wife. It's a win-win. He blows up and kills all the fish. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Also, props to the really absent parenting. Like, <laughs> these kids could not have been more than 14, 15 years old. And it's they... Okay. Just the greatest thing. Like, no care. Well, wait a minute. In the 80s, kids were in the That's alone. completely normal back then. <laughs> yep. yeah. And yeah. we, we yeah. have yeah. Yeah. helicopter parenting, yeah. super creepy, incestuous wait. relationship it's between all of them. All right. Yeah. Yeah. So we, meet the, the, we meet the main character yeah. when the son he grabs a cuttlefish from the looks of it and like tries to like, dab at her mouth while she's naked in bed. I swear to God, I thought she, I thought the kid was her boy toy. And then, yeah, and then so they were yeah. arguing, and there's this moment where they're standing really close to each other, like right, really like this. Right. And I was like, okay, they're lovers, and then we're like, oh, that's her, that's his, that's her daughter or son. Yeah, that, that's well, that's his mom. Uh, so, so here's a hint: when you can't figure out the relationship between a young boy and an older woman, you need to relook. At the direction that you're giving well, them. And, you know and Harold and Maude the same. Uh, well, also, Harold and Maude, it starts off, okay, here it is. Yeah. Well, if so guys, you know what you're getting into. So in close, guys, if you want to sing out, sing out. But <laughs> we ain't sing out about this movie. No. Anytime soon. So in closing, everybody. I give it 11 out of 10. <laughs> Out you know, I'm going to come on record That's and say that this was one of the best comedy movies I ever saw. <laughs> <laughs> right next to Manos? Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Next to Manos, yeah. Maybe make next to Manos. Top, top three in the mutant piranha genre. The flying piranha, <laughs> yes. As James Cameron yeah. would say, it's the best movie about flying piranhas. Yeah, really. Definitely. And I think that the apparently, Academy overlooked this for Titanic, but that's just me. Yeah, and, and apparently, according to Cameron, this is even better at a drive-in after a six-pack of beer halfway through. Yeah, yeah okay. I'll we'll take that. that. We can take that, Cameron. Yeah, your wisdom was prevalent even even in this early days. Just you know, <laughs> oh, video ass ass bulge nitus, whatever the hell. They just don't is. appreciate you at the time. They know. They really do. Like the fish, the filmmakers flew too close to the sun. <laughs> 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 but uh, unfortunately, you did not. You went down into the ocean and raised the bar. Oh, His name geez. is James Cameron of the Sea. <laughs> <laughs> and on that note, here's the next time for our Halloween specials of Cinema Schlock. In the meantime, oh God, just no fucking in derelict ships. Don't do it. Under the water. Don't do it. Under the sea. And if you do, we're protecting kids. Everything's better. In the meantime, fried fish. Come on. Fried fish, everybody. It lives in the depths of the sea, but it can strike anywhere.
Piranha 2, Flying Killers.